Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm playing with a Spark of Artspiration. Now, for those of you that are brand new to Sparks of Artspiration, what they are is a free downloadable printout of something that I've been making. It's a progress shot of something, and there's sort of shapes in it. There are lines in it. That various things can be in it, but it's a place to start. This is how I spark my play some days when I'm like, hmm, what am I going to do in my art journal today? I'll start with a spark. So you're going to see how I created this art journal page, starting with the spark and how I ended up with a very playful and fun character. So here's what the spark looks like cut out. I've just got it with an art journal page. Now this is a, uh, it's got brad sticking out the back. It's got scraps of paper on it. I think it might even be gessoed. Really doesn't matter. I'm just looking for some art journal page to build this on. I've taken the glue stick and I am just going to stick that down. And I'm thinking I see kind of three people on a hill. That was my thought when I printed it out. However, pretty quickly, this is not going to be three people on a hill. I started to see something else in this. So I'm going to make sure everything's glue stick down. And then I came in with a pencil and I'm going to draw what I see. And I see this sort of, I don't know, creature, animal, big bunny ears. There's the face and it's going to have a very, very basic body to it. So now I've got an idea of kind of what I'm doing. I'm drawing it lightly with pencil. That way when I paint over it, nobody will ever know I had those pencil lines. But I got to say, I need more background with it. So I printed out another of the exact same spark and I'm just going to rip it up and put it all around the background outside of where my character is. I will tell you that by the time I was done with this, my character had such a personality. He was, well, I came up with a name for him and his name is Norbert. He is absolutely Norbert the nerd and he made my day. I had so much fun letting him come to life in this art journal page. Well, this is one of the reasons why I really love the Sparks of Artspiration because when I thought I was going to use one, but then I needed another one and all I have to do is go over to my printer and print another one out. There's an endless supply of them. As long as I have a printer and paper, I can keep using them as many times as I want in as many different projects as I want, of course, for personal use only. Well, I kind of looked a little weird having all that paper and stuff around and then it sort of just cuts off in the face. So I wanted to collage a little bit, but then it kind of looked like two noses there. So I decided, well, I'll just cut the nose out and we'll see what happens. And I got to say, all of a sudden, the mouth just came to life for me. Totally was not what I was planning on doing. And that's pretty much how play works for me is I just get in there, start making and doing and things start to come to life. It also helped that I don't mind cutting these up because it's not like they're precious. If I didn't cut it right or I needed it to be different, all I'm going to do is print another one out. So it's very freeing to have supplies that never end. Well, now it's time to give Norbert some color on his shirt. So I'm going to bring in a very bright green here that will become his shirt. Now, clearly, I am a master of figure drawing with this absolute precision here. Can't you see the realism happening with this? Yeah. Well, things are pretty busy around Norbert here. So I'm going to quiet down that background just a little bit here with some heavy body acrylic paint. And this way you can also see his ears, which were pretty much disappearing in all the color there. Now, if you'd like to know how to get these sparks of artspiration, if you're not already getting them, they come in my newsletter. Every time I send out a newsletter, there's some kind of downloadable treat, some kind of goodies, something special for you in there. And you can find out how to get signed up over on my blog at a colorfuljourney.com. I send out about two newsletters a month. And if you get signed up with the link with this video, this Norbert spark will be the very first one that you get. Now Norbert needs some eyes, so I am going to use the very fancy end of the paintbrush to create these off-center little eyes that really weren't supposed to be quite that off-center, but they're a little too small, so I'm just going to smear that around and make his eyes just a wee bit bigger. But Norbert still needed something more, so I decided to give him a bit of an outline. I didn't want to bring in anything really dark or heavy, so I grabbed a fine liner, and basically it's now got a little bit of a sketchy look to it going all around him, outlining his wonderful colorful ears and that kind of thing. Now, if you're brand new to how these fine liners work, I have a video showing exactly how they work, what they're all about, what you fill them with, that kind of stuff, but basically something really, really runny that comes out this uncloggable fine tip. Now I almost left all that white space, but yeah, I just couldn't leave that. I needed to bring in a little more color. So I'm just hitting that with some more acrylic paint, getting some color around it. Am I going to paint precisely right up to the edge of him? No. And why is that? Because I'm frankly not that patient. 
This is for me just about letting myself play in my art journal. I am not trying to stay within the lines. I am not trying to follow any rules. I'm just having fun because really, I mean, look at Norbert. Is he a follow the rules kind of guy? Is he a paint within the lines kind of character? Absolutely not. So I'm going to take my cues from him and just paint kind of near the lines. And that big white open mouth there, yeah, it's not going to stay white. I needed to make it a little more colorful because there just wasn't enough color happening here for me. So that's how I'm going to finish this up, is just putting little bits of color in places. Well, thanks for joining me and Norbert here for a little play in the art journal today. If you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more stuff from me, including getting your own Sparks of Art Inspiration to download and use in your play, head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com and there might even be a link popping up around here that will take you right to the newsletter sign up as well as the blog post for this video. And of course, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll never miss when I have a new video. Thanks for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.